Hi guys, and welcome to another video with me, Shira Star Hobby. This video is going to be a bunch of updates. There's a lot of things that I've gotten in the mail that I just, I'm trying to wait and kind of compile into a, like one longish video because uh, the stuff is like kind of small and I don't want to do like individual unboxing videos because they will you know, they'll only be like a couple minutes each one, so I'm just gonna like piece together a bunch of things. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so today's Friday. It is Veterans Day. We don't, um, normally we wouldn't have this day off of work, but because of Tropical Storm Nicole, we are supposed to be getting hit with a ton of rain, a ton of thunderstorms, and um, if you know anything about HVAC work, um, a lot of that stuff can't be done in the rain. Um, so, um, our boss gave us the day and that was really, really great of him. So we're home and it's been raining pretty much all day so far. And I've just been doing lots of stuff. I've been, um, cleaning out my doll room. I have, I'm still making blind boxes if, if anyone's interested for sale. I have already sold three blind boxes and, um, you know, slowly but surely I am, you know, putting things in there that I'm hoping people will like and um, a little bit of everything. And so if you guys are interested in that in those, give me um, a message on Instagram. And I am also working on wig commissions. <clears throat> so here we have one for a Somni. Um, and I, this is a trade. Um, I am getting some Blythe stuff and some doll eyes that I am desperately in need of um, for the trade. So that's going to be really awesome. And then I am working on Allison's Waverly, her Teeny Tinkers hollow sculpt in the Waverly color, which is that beautiful lilac lavender color. Um, I don't want to show her yet because... I want to like put her all together first and then uh, take fi uh, take pictures. So, but she is painted, and I'm working on her wig. So when she's all put together, I'm going to dress her, and um, hopefully I'll be able to get her back to Allison uh, soon. We are supposed to have a doll day tomorrow. Fingers crossed that nothing happens that we can and we can still do that. Um, what else? So if you guys follow my Instagram, you might have seen Trafari and his antlers. So really, really cool. I was able to um, get a slot in a commission order from at Sparrow BJD on Instagram. And she makes the most amazing magnetic accessories for your dolls, whether it be antlers, horns, um, bunny ears and bunny tails like everything is magnetic everything is handmade it's amazing she showed me work in progress pictures where she actually you know did the wire base first and then she sculpt she sculpted on top of the wire and um, she sent them they've probably been here for almost a month I want to say and I just opened them the other day because I was just too excited to see them and uh, the outdoor pictures that I wanted to take I thought would be perfect with him and his antlers so here is Trafari and here are the antlers and she sent them in a bubble mailer um, but then the antlers themselves were in this plastic tube with her logo and her sticker on there and they were wrapped in bubble wrap. And then she sent along some cute stickers that I was like, ooh, these are really, really pretty because they're like, they're like see-through uh, here. Like they're just really pretty for like journaling. Um, I've never, I, I don't have any stickers like this, so I'm like really excited to use these on a page probably where I'm going to 
put the pictures of Trafari with his antlers. Um, and then here are some of her business cards, which are beautiful. See how gorgeous these these horns are and these antlers. Like, I I told her I didn't I didn't want the antlers with the deer ears because you know he's he's already got the pointed ears, so I just wanted the antlers themselves. And um, she also sent two pairs of magnets. So she sent a pair of like really small thick ones and then she sent a pair of really thin larger ones and those are the ones that I've that I'm using right now and it, what's really nice is that they slide right under his wig so I don't even have to really mess with them um I I mean I have to be careful with them because like I said they are hand sculpted so um but she just did an incredible job absolutely incredible and he looks amazing with them on so I will share those pictures again here in case you haven't seen them of the ones that I took outside. All right. Next up is a unboxing of a cute little toy monster, I guess. The artist is Allie Bean Dolls, and I have a couple of her one-of-a-kinds already. So this one I got with a doll purchase from years ago. Um, she was just included as an extra, and I've kept her ever since because I just think she's adorable. Now it's just the face that was sculpted, and then she attached it to like a fabric body with like stuffing and like beanbag type, you know, type things in there. Um, so that's the first one that I got, and I've had her for years, like I said. And then this was the second one that I got, and she, come on camera. Um, she was a gift from a doll friend, um, and I love her. She's absolutely adorable. So she's all hand sculpted, hand everything. And so she sells majorly, um, majorly, ma major, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say here, but she sells mostly on Facebook. Um, I don't even think she's on Instagram to be honest. But um, she had these cute little monster critters that I'm assuming were meant for Halloween. Um, but I didn't really, you know, care too much about the fact that they were for Halloween. I just thought that they were cute little toys for my dolls. <laughs> so um, they came in a box, like a, a tiny little box here. And then she wrapped them up in a bag. This is exciting. So the artist's name is Alicia Singleton and she is on Facebook so you can find her on there and she kind of works in batches so she'll make like you know maybe seven eight or nine little toy doll things at a time and then she will sell them all at once. So here is the paperwork. Let's see. Ellie Bean Dolls sculpted by Alicia Singleton in the year of blah 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 2022. So that's cool kind of like a COA. And then here is this tiny cute little purple monster. Now she had a, a, a variety of them and I really really wanted the yellow one because he was super cute and um, I wanted him for Inga mostly because I just thought he's perfect for Inga but this was the only one that she had left so I grabbed him and look at how adorable he is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> I love him. He's so cute. Oh my goodness. So he's not movable at all, I don't think. But he's a perfect little toy for a Blythe. Which um, I was probably going to give him to Eminence because he's purple and she's got purple hair and I think they go well together. So he's going to be super cute in pictures. Look at his little tooth. And his little Oni horns. Oh, he's just adorable. I can't even wait to photograph him. He's going to be so cute. <laughs> so let me figure out what comes next and I'll be right back.
Um, another thing that I've had for weeks and I never showed you <laughs> is my latest Celia Ann Harris one of a kind fairy. She um, made a series of rainforest fairies uh, based on the area of Australia that she lives in. I, I think she lives maybe near a rainforest of some kind. Um, and so she did, I think she made five different um, rainforest fairies. And the one that I really wanted was already, um, you know, she was already t taken basically. So, um, so I, I did pick my next favorite one, which was this one. And she's absolutely stunning. And what's really neat is you can take her off of her. I think this is, I think she calls it a gum, a gum drop or a gum, gum nut, something like that. Um, but she made the base using you know real things that she finds in her yard um and then she made the fairy and then she handmade all the crystals her antlers um like everything is perfect so i can even set her on something else here's her wings i love the way these wings are made come on camera you are doing so good Nope, I guess it's just not going to focus. But anyway. So there she is. Absolutely stunning girl. So this makes... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so she's my sixth one. Um... And I love everything that she does. Um, and like I said, I've been trying to, I've been trying to find her stuff since 2014. And now that I have found her, it's kind of hard for me to resist. So every time she does a drop, I try to grab something. Um, just, she's incredible. So moving on from that um if you guys were interested in soda pop she has been claimed um i ended up trading for her because i didn't want to um i didn't really want to you know sell her for less than what i paid and i wanted to give her to somebody that actually wanted her so instead of putting her into a blind box I just traded her for a doll that I that I have been wanting for a long time and um, I just never got one and he is perfectly one six scale to go with the rest of my boys he is not an Oscar um, but he is a boy doll that I have been wanting so let's get to opening him um, if you guys are fans of Atelier Mimoni, then this box looks very familiar. She did a really good job wrapping him. And since we all know that Lola has only made one boy, <laughs> that's who this is. Okay. Woo! Um... Yeah, so it's Ren by Atelier Mamoni, and like I said, I've been wanting this boy for a while, um, and every time I went to get one, it just didn't work out, so ooh, I'm excited. So it's the perfect trade because he's a doll that I will treasure because he's a Lola boy, you know, and Lola is amazing. Um, if you guys don't have a Patusa in your doll family or a Mamoni, the large MSD girl, um, you should. <laughs> Thanks. Enjoy him, Lola. So here's his COA. Oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. I love the way she draws. I love the way she draws. Her art is also amazing. I wish that um, she did make more merchandise and things with her artwork because like, I would be so down for that. Oh, he's beautiful. Okay, we got some cute kitty or fox stickers. I think they're foxes. And then we have his COA. 
So Ren in Toffee Skin, number 28 from 2021 pre-order. And I believe the lady that I got him from is his second owner, so I would be his third. And then here is her basic card. And then here is all he came with. I think he came with a couple wigs and some clothing, but um, I will make him a boy wig. Uh, these long haired ones, um, I could probably use the hair for other wigs. <laughs> um, I like to do that. I like to, um, you know, cut hair off of other wigs and use it for wigs that I want to make, especially if the hair is really nice. So he's got some clothes, which you guys all know that my very large collection of Oscars have a, a variety of clothes. So I'm really excited about that because, um, a helmet. That's cute. He will be very, very well dressed for a boy. Um, so wow, he came with a lot of stuff. I wasn't expecting all this stuff. So that's cool. Um, extra clothes is always nice. Here is what I'm assuming is a skateboard without wheels. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh wait, he's got three wigs. Oh, and this one's not half bad. Um, why does he feel like he's smaller than the girls? And I know he's not because he's taller than the girls. Um, in any case, I'm excited to have him in my collection. Uh, oh no, I wonder, I wonder, I'll have to look at pictures of his body. I wonder if his boy bits were sanded off. Uh, because the lady that had him before me wanted to make him a girl. And um, she just became like frustrated maybe or unsatisfied with him. And um, when she asked, you know, if I would trade for soda pop, I was all over that. So, uh... I like that... I like his feet. They are flip-flop feet, so he can wear flip-flops. Um, and I like that he's got different hands than the girls, because, you know, he's a boy. But I want to say his boy bits were were sanded off. I, I feel like, like he had something <laughs> there. Um, and then, of course, here's his little, his little six-pack, eight-pack. <laughs> um, and then let's see, he's got blue sparkly eyes. I wonder, I might change his eyes for something a little bit more realistic. I like the sparkly eyes that she makes on the girls and both my Patooses have the sparkly eyes, but I think on him, I might go for something a little bit more realistic. Um, but for now, I like the blue that they are and he is toffee skinned and he's beautiful and he's never been painted so I'm debating right now I'm trying to figure out if I want to attempt to paint him myself or if I'm going to send him to Sheena I feel like Sheena might be <laughs> a little bit overwhelmed with my commissions with with Oscar right now so I might just hold off and um, maybe try to paint him myself very basic um, just something simple not too much I could use my Oscars as a reference as well because um, Sheena painted them so beautifully. So anyway, this was a very quick unboxing of my Toffee Wren by Atelier Mamoni and I hope that you guys are looking forward to seeing pictures of him because he is adorable. Oh my goodness. So the last few couple things that I wanted to show were, um, I did end up painting two of the Tinny Tinkers, uh, tinies kits that I got. These will be part of the blind box thing. Um, but I just wanted to show the face ups really quick. They, they came out cute. I mean, I was just kind of randomly doing whatever. I wasn't really, I didn't have any specific things in mind. 
when I painted them. Um, so anyway, this is the Bubblegum Pink Bowie. She looks really cute. And then... Here is the Blue Clover. Um, Clover is one of my favorite sculpts of all time. <laughs> um, and I know that she has printed... Um, she printed herself a clover in MSD size and she was debating whether or not to release her as a pre-order and I think that might be something that she's going to do in the future um, but as of yet um, she's just in this in this tiny size um, so if you guys are interested in a blue clover um, who is probably one of the most favorite sculpts I think from from Teeny Tinkers um, she is available And I apologize, my husband's outside doing something loud. Um, <laughs> the other thing that I wanted to talk about was my wisp. I know that I mentioned that I was going to... This isn't working. <laughs> Sorry about that again. Um, let me try to get this out really quick uh, before he starts up again. So, my wisp. I was going to do a giveaway... Um, on my channel for her the same way that Teeny Tinkers gave her away, but um, I decided not to because honestly, I didn't want to deal with all of that giveaway stuff and um, Someone had messaged me and had asked me, um, you know, if she could if you know She was interested in her and so I basically just gave her away um, to um, a, a lady she's She's been a, fo a follower from of mine, I think, for a little while. So I, I feel I feel good that she'll be going somewhere where she's going to be loved, and um, and treated well. So that's that's that on Wisp. Then I do have one other MSD girl that now that I see her kind of put together, I'm not sure if I want to get rid of her. <laughs> um, she is my Delphinium by Faye Faye Wood Stalls. She is rare. She is only made like randomly, like kind of sporadically if the artist feels like, you know, casting her. Um, I don't know if the body that she's on is still available or if she has made like modifications to that body. So um, she's got three pairs of magnetic hands, two right ones and one pair and one left, kind of like the Oscars. And I intended her for her to be a mermaid. So I painted her thinking nothing specific. Um, and I wasn't sure how I felt about the face up. But now that I put her together, kind of, I have to put her eyes in. Um, and I have to dress her. But I do want to show her to you guys. So this is her. Um... I painted her and it's just kind of random nothing like I said I wasn't really trying to follow any specific look she has teeth which is cute um, I did two different lip colors she is a mermaid at least that's how I intended for her to be so I put these on um, these are actually like real stars that are on there um, they're all glued on there but I just used the Mod Podge so you know, if you just let them soak for a little bit with water or whatever, um, they should come right off. I did her hands, which turned out really good. I love, I just, I love the way her hands were sculpted to begin with. Really beautiful. I want to, I want to show you her other hand. Here it is. It's like, kind of like a fist, kind of with a pointed finger super cute and then she's really thick on the bottom she's almost I want to say she's almost like um, SD as well like her feet are really big and I don't think she can wear regular MSD shoes she might but I haven't really bought her anything specific um, but you can see I did tattoo the scales on her legs and again this is temporary um, I just put them on with Mod Podge, so I would have to let them soak. Put like a wet paper towel or a wet towel over them and let them soak, and then they'll they'll just it'll just come right off. 
She's very loose. She is older. She's from 2019. I have her COA and all of her original packaging. Um, she came wrapped in this beautiful pink, uh, pink blanket. And I made her a wig, which is braided right now because I wanted her to have ocean waves. So I'll put it on just so you guys can see the color scheme and how well it goes with her face up. <laughs> it's kind of perfect. Um, and so now I kind of want to put her together, like put her eyes in. She came with eyes, um, handmade by the artist as well. So I'm going to put her together and I want to photograph her. Um, and I, I, I did the, the boob coverage because I really wanted her in next to nothing when it came to clothing. Um, you know, I wanted her to be basically nude. Um, but everything that I wanted to put her in, I wanted it to be see-through or translucent in some way. Um, and that way, you know, she would feel, she wouldn't feel so confined to clothing. And she, whenever she wanted to, you know, jump into the water, there wasn't much there to, <laughs> you know, to, to take off. Um, but like I said, I, I, I haven't, whoops, I haven't decided completely now that I see her together. I haven't decided completely if I want to, if I want to sell her. I got her in a trade for my Naora 15 from, um, one of my best Dolly friends. And, um, you know, she was, she was nice enough to trade her. And cause I, you know, at, at the time that I traded my Naora, I, this, she was like huge on my want list. Um, and she's so hard to find. Um, she is supposed to be a sandy, sandy tan color, but I feel like because she is hand cast, Faywood, Faywood's Dolls number 10. Uh, because she is hand cast, um, there's no, there's really like no way to know how the resin will hold up over the years. And I feel like she's no longer tan. She's more like a gray color. I don't know what you guys would call it. Um, but she is beautiful. She's a beautiful sculpt. Um, she has another sculpt that I like as well that is also hard to find. Um, but she does, she, she does cast their heads um, every once in a while and she'll mix and match them on other bodies and things like that. So, um, but I wanted to show you guys Delphinium. She is absolutely amazing. I love her lips. I love her nose. I love her hands. Um, she has a neck joint, which I think for her time when she first came out with this body, I think that was still something new that, you know, not everybody was doing, um, at that time. So anyway, she can't really stand well on her own. She does need to be restrung or her stringing needs to be tightened. Um, and she needs to be, you know, hot glue suede or something. Um, so she she would be technically a project doll, and I'm and I'm okay with that. Um, so we'll see how I feel about her and whether or not I, I want to hold on to her. But if you guys are interested in her for in any you know just just in case you can you can reach out to me and I can make a list or something of people that would be interested in her. So I'm hoping to get her put together, get her semi dressed and photographed for you guys. Um, and I believe that that is all for right now. Um, I feel like I've gone through and talked about everything that I wanted to at this point in time. I have been taking down my art and slowly but surely, um, we got some bare shelves. Um, I don't want to like take everything down just yet because then my room will be bare um but here let me zoom in on this sweet girl and her new little monster how perfect is that um i do have more unboxings coming for you guys i am expecting several art toys and things from russia um there's a couple other things that i'm I keep saying things, but other dolls that I am waiting on that is, I'm just waiting for them to get here before I talk about who they are and, and why I purchased them. Um, 
Uh, my icy girl from Russia or from the Ukraine is still on her way as well. Um, I did. Here's her little Wren. There's sweet little Wren boy. Um, I did. Oh yeah, well Siren. Um, I already talked about him and and how I don't know when he'll be ready, but he'll be ready. The first Siren has already been. Um, finished and put together and I think he may already be on his way home so I'm hoping that mine will come second or third um it's going to be very exciting when he arrives <laughs> I'm gonna do like this whole thing for him and um I can't wait so anyway I hope that you guys are having a good Friday and that you're gonna enjoy your weekend um I will see you guys in the next video Bye.